Greetings fellow Demon Slayers, this is Timon and Mari in TAC, and we're here today with another action Timon and video. So, for today we're going to talk about the update, and then we do have some bonus 3 footage of Felicia, courtesy of Zombie Cat, or if you call him by his channel, Shibatron. So before we do anything, I want to talk about how Kirara is on the, the loading screen and no one can do anything about it, and they're forced to smell her feet every time they log in, and... We could just pretend the other girls aren't here, right? It's just Kirara's home, like, opening screen. Right, that's fine, right, Tag? Honestly, it's hers. this is... <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, it's hers. It belongs to hers. Um, <laughs> but, but I will say, though, this is long overdue, I would say. This has been long overdue. Like, now we don't have to worry about the old... Um, when when the, the just Sakura, Yuki, and Asagi. I mean, Asagi and Yuki are still here, but I guess Rip to Sakura. She's no longer here. <laughs> Said Rip Sakura. This is really but, nice, uh, though. Like, I love this. I love how it's like our main girls. It's like Hirara's there. Your girl Asagi's there. We're kind of finger trapping poor Shizu. I think everyone likes her. And then Ultra's waifu, Tokiko, is chilling there. Because she's course, basically his best friend. And of course, the gremlin's yours, too. No, I don't have yes, the gremlin. She is. She's not mine. You nope. did clear tower with her, so you... Yeah, but that was, like, back before, like... No, sounds, I, I haven't even enchanted Yuki. Yuki, it's just a wild Yuki in the background. She's no one's right now. This key Ray Ray. Oh, I love this. You didn't say what you said you are going to say, so I'm going to say it. It looks like the Hatsune Miku game. I was gonna say that, but yeah, it's uh -oh. like it's a really nice. Uh, well, I was about really to move nice. on, so I just said it. Like, yeah, it does. It looks like it's just really crisp and clean. What are the sound effects though? Because you said there's no music. Is there like a weird burning effect or anything? Like the old mm, one? No, no, Cause... there's no bad. There's like because the old one, I remember, it had like a weird crashing sound, like a yeah. metal sound. Yeah. And then, and then it, it basically it had noise. But it was basically made out of like you basically hear fire basically like around like in the background this doesn't have any noise well it is very nice it's a welcome change i'm happy they did it and i'm happy i can we look at a little bitty little kirara head every time i log in it's funny because when i was playing at work i like forgot that they did this and i was like why is my phone white did it crash and i was like oh it's just a new title screen yeah it's, yeah this this is gonna get used to but we're I honestly I am gonna get used to this really quickly, though. Yeah, I'm just, I'm so happy Kirara's here. Like, I'm over the moon that she's here. As a matter of fact, whenever I log in, I'm gonna put the mouse pointer over her head so I can head pat her. See, head pats. <laughs> All right, let's talk about the update. Um, you get no more head pats. All right, they added this. Yep. It screw her. I don't like her. Vampire gremlin. Scythe Gremlin, Vampire Gremlin, Fang Gremlin. I like her, but I don't like. I she's walk. She's just walking power creep to me. I like. Uh, from hmm. what I've seen from her, um, especially Wolf, because whenever Wolf sends you footage of her, um, yeah, dude, she's she looks she's looking good, honestly. Yeah, she's pretty nutty. Um, I mean. I'm not going to go too into it until we actually, like, review footage of her, which we will be doing in this video once we're done talking about the update stuff. But she's really fucking good. The, the reason I don't like that, like, I don't mind power creep. That's not really the issue. It's, the issue is, is that she kind of, like, they just crap down the throat of anyone who, like, invested in a character from last year. Because, like, the OG characters, like, for Nui mains and, like, you know, Sakura mains and all the old characters, they're, they're good or at least decent. And a lot of the newer characters are worse than them. But Felicia is yeah. kind of like going back to how the old characters were. She's a lot better than like what the new characters were. So yeah, like, so... Yeah, like, it, Shizuru, Shizuru was like the first one and now we have her. So now she's like... Yeah, but I'm Shizuru actually, didn't just crap down you. Like, Shizuru's good. But she's not She's not Felicia. No, like... Yeah. I, I, I was, uh, well, whoever the hell the next character comes after for Alicia, I'm expecting that to power creep this, basically. No, it's gonna be Psycho Fuma, and she's gonna suck like freaking Kirara and Asuka. <laughs> I just feel like they're gonna that. ruin her, dude. But yeah, that's... I really hope, like, I really hope they don't. Alright, so... 
Yeah, if you want her, you know, here are her bundles. They're the usual price. Not going to go too much into it. You get the usual stuff. You get a Felichon if you buy this bundle. You get her little so schoolgirl outfit. outfit. And then you get the gems and then the doo-doo weapon that no one likes. Um, I, I will say the scythe looks cool, though. If yeah, it's very skin. pretty. It looks nice, but that's about it. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, like, all her scythe weapons look pretty sick, though, so... And then this just gives you accelerators, so... Moving yeah. on from here... We'll go to the gotcha real quick. Okay. So, so of course, yep. Felicia's gotcha is here. Um, it's here till March 14th, so there's plenty of time to pull on it. If we go into her weapons real class... Wow, real class, real fast... We have Shikabane, which is basically a rebellious weapon. Everyone knows it's good at this point. Um, yep. Debuff, basically. Yep. Debuff generator and crit. Crit, good, like, big damage when you crit, you get buffs. Um, so, Reaper's Wing. Again, like, I just think this is an OPS weapon. Because the passive is literally a freaking supporter effect. Yeah, like, it literally is. Like, you could like, just use this just... with, like, Suzune or um, Habiki or anything that gives mm -hmm. you more damage, like Lydia. Because, so, like, Felicia generates debuffs herself, so she works with this weapon yeah. out of the box. Like, you don't, like, the supporters don't matter. This will, at S level 5, give you 30% damage. And then the active will be dealing 1,000 damage at S5, which is huge, along with that bleed. Because so, if... like, yeah, ain't... Yeah, Ingrid's gonna work well with her, I think, with this weapon. Yeah, I think so too. So overall, like, I think if you pull Gotcha for her, no matter what you get, as long as you get one of her ultra rares, you're in business. What yeah, are her super rares? I haven't looked at them. Like, does she have like um, one of those crit super rares or something? Let's see, Oda Dachi. She has critical rate. It's just critical rate. It's not critical yeah. damage like I thought it was. Like, like um, Ingrid's. And this is just a demon killer. That looks cool though. It looks like a little. I like that blade. All her weapons look sick, though, I'm not gonna lie. Even the PvP ones look nice. Yeah, and her weapons all do look nice. So that's it for this. Um, of course, like, if people are wondering what I think, of course you should buy Felicia, and of course you should pull her weapon. She's amazing. Like, I don't have... I have literally nothing bad to say about this character. I've never had anything bad to say about her since I read her kit before she it ever was, like, released. She's just really good. She's good on paper, and she's good. So I don't think anyone who buys her will be disappointed. This is one of those rare instances where you'll be happy with your purchase in AT. Yeah, it's like she's her all over again, basically. Yeah. Dude, there are people, like, uh, have said to me that they regret getting Shizuru because of how good Felicia <laughs> And that's, I, I, I that's mean, crazy. Like, because Shizuru, I mean, Shizuru's good, but she ain't good like this. Like, I mean, I'll say this much right now. On the bright side, though, like, they don't, they're not the same color. That's the good thing about them. They're, they're not in the same color, so... They're not competing with each other, basically. That's the good thing about that. Oh yeah, no. She's just gonna compete with your lolis for their burgers. But yeah, I, I generally do think from what I'm looking, from what the footage from some of the people that showed me of her, she's probably gonna pop. She's probably gonna be the goddess of the green coloring. I'm, I'm guessing. Okay, and next, the thing I'm excited about. <laughs> God, she's finally here. Oh, she's so cute. Okay. Oh, God. Look at her itty bitty little hat. Look at it. It's so tiny and it's hers. I love Kana, and I know she's probably not going to be good, but I'm going to go for it. I'm going to try to get her. Oh, man. I love Kana. All right. So, yeah. Um, basically, each buff on your character increases damage against all enemies by 5%. Now, we're going to be needing to test this buff. We don't know what that entails because if it goes one way it could be good but if it goes the other way it's going to be really bad and crappy but this is only a 10 percent multiplier at s5 um we'll mess with her after i get her and then her actual active sound art wings has a 50 second cooldown sings to reduce damage taken from all enemies by 15 percent 30 percent at s5 and to increase speed by five percent for 10 seconds and that would be a 10 percent speed increase at s5 so overall, like, for now, I'm going to put her in a niche pile. I don't think you should pull for Kana, but I'm going to go against my own advice and pull for Kana because she's cute and she's my friend. And people have been mean to her, so I have to protect her. Um, wait, you got uh, nothing to say about Kana? You just I know you want to say she's bad. Go on. No, the thing is, I will say about Kana is that 
right now she's, she's like right now what i'm gonna say right now is that she might look bad but i think she she has the in the ingrid support syndrome that she's gonna get good over time basically that's what i'm thinking because we, we just need a blue character that like that gives her buffs when when she's blue basically and and not just that she may end up becoming good for that one character just we don't know who the hell that's going to be for or a supporter that synergizes with her with buffs yeah and stuff. um yeah that's and i true. mean again this itty bitty little hat come on tag that hat look at that hat i want yeah, to see her. i want to wear her hat but yeah, you can't you can't fairy. take you can't take her hat off of her because it's actually a part of her body and if you rip it off she'll bleed to death Okay. I mean, I die. Yeah. <laughs> Kana, yeah, Kana's growing that hat. It's actually a part of her. Um, now, coming to this dude, gotcha. Yep, there's someone uh, who finally showed up. She's this finally is here. Too. Nasty Navi. Way overdue. Yep. Yeah, way overdue. She, but, like, yeah, she's in the pool now, so... People can finally get their hands on Nagi. I'm really hoping I land one. Especially with the terrible luck I had today with what happened to me. So, yeah, I, I, uh... I would like a Nagi. Yeah, and some people are gonna get her from the from the free golden pass roll too. So they're gonna get her. For, some players are gonna get her. Yeah, she's great for red characters. We've like she's one of the meta red supporters, like her Lydia, uh, things like that. Susan A. So I mean, if you get a Nagi, grats, cause she's great. Like she'll work on anything red. Okay, um, let's get away from here. The no, we're, no, I was gonna yeah, say I, I hit the... I hit the home button on accident. I know. Yeah. The eyes shut. There we is, okay, right yeah. there on the right. This tiny, tiny Oni Gremlin. Yep. An actual Gremlin. I hate Felicia so much. I hate, <laughs> I hate how good she is. Because everything like in my brain is telling me, buy Felicia and give everything to her. And you'll have a good time. You know what I like I... about this skin? It's the most subtle thing. That little strand uh... of hair where, like between her eyes, it just sways back and forth. Oh, that? Yeah, it looks so adorable. It's hers. Ah, oh, she looks so good in this. Okay. Yeah, from, yeah, from the gameplay I've seen of her, yeah, it makes me want to get her, too. Yeah, I know. It, like, because it's like, when you're playing Gotcha, you want to always go for, like, the most worthwhile thing. Or the thing. newest thing. Not yeah. really the newest thing, but, like, the thing that, like, you know is worth it. And Felicia's just an obvious, like, she's like a freaking someone just... Throwing a freaking rock at your skull and saying, hey, I'm worth it. Don't ignore me. And I'm really trying not to ignore her. And she's more cost efficient than other characters we've recently gotten. Because she doesn't have a limited supporter, like in the gacha. So yeah, it's like literally very... like the old days. You just gotta get her weapon and her and you're set. Yeah, you don't need to get the supporter at all. Um, Which is probably a good thing for like for free-to-play players, I would say. And then we have Kana chilling here for 100 Desire. But again, like... I think the only people who want Kana are like me and Waystorm, so. And uh, Ultra probably too. Oh, well, Ultra doesn't like Kana. He got her, but he just got one because he collects everything. I mean, I, I mean, me and Waystorm want Kana to use. Not to mm. just have, yeah. Um. And Cell Phone Mom's still here. She's Tayin. Yep. Okay. So. Right, uh, next we go to see. the Golden Pass. Well, I want to hit this pass. first because we're talking about shit you can buy. Oh, okay. Uh, new costumes. So for now, oh, we yeah. have Noah and Astaroth. Yeah, I immediately went and brought Astaroth. When I woke up, I was like, yeah, I'm not going to let that go by. Yeah, I got hers too. So she has like the DVZ ogre horns going on. Like the ones on Snake Way. <laughs> I love it. But yeah, yeah, these two Oni skins are available for 350 gems. And from That's here, it. we can go hit up the Golden Pass. And there's another one right there. And yeah, it's the same as every other Golden Pass. Um... For people who don't know, you get ultra rare tickets from both rows for completing it. You get gems at the end, and the only thing that ever really changes is the the, the skin you get. And right yeah. now, the exclusive skin is Kurinahi. So, oh, her horns look really, really cool. They look like little fox ears, but they're also horns. That's dope. yeah, it's a it's a it's a really nice skin for Corona. I will definitely pick this up when the last day of the pass is available. I appreciate the short skirt because when she runs, oh, that's gonna look. Mm, ask me. It just, I don't even yeah, care. It. It. And her little Icarus boots. Oh, <laughs> this is a nice ass skin, dude. She's like waifu pit. <laughs> yeah, I could. Yeah, dude, I, 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 that looks so yeah. cool. Oh my god. 
Yeah, the only thing that sucks about this skin is that it's behind a paywall, which, that, yeah, that is. Yeah. That's you know what else sucks about this skin? This mask on her back. He's like, I'm going to NTR you. It's like, that's my booty. I don't know if you can see the little uh -oh. face right here. That guy. Oh, no, I, no I, I'm no, yeah. i looking at it. I'll, I'll look at it in game, too. When yeah, I, when he's, I looking like Gan with... he's looking like Red Ganondorf. <laughs> he's like, I'm still your girl, Mr. Still Your Girl. But no, all jokes aside, though, she looks real. This is like a really pretty skin. I'm happy with yeah. this. Oh, yeah. Also, while we're in the Oni skins, you can dye them now, too. So, yes, yeah. yes. You Oni can... skins are dyeable now. Yep. So there you can dye them now. So that's good. All good things. Um. Okay. Um, I guess. So next, we'll hit see. the settings. Yep. The settings is like the quality of life they did. Okay. So, yeah, you said. Okay. So, wow, this is different. Um. Yeah, it's way different. So this is like the old graphics and sound. I guess these camera options are here now. So now they yeah, have a uh, like... target tracking, which wasn't yeah, there that... before. Mhm. Mm and, and that basically makes the camera follow what you're targeting, right? Yeah. That's so that'll make it, it so does. your character doesn't just like turn around randomly, I guess. I don't know what that actually does, but from what I'm hearing, mobile players appreciate it. I'm not going to change anything because it's working fine for me on PC and on mobile. I just ask Emily for help so yeah um and then the rest of the stuff is the normal stuff I think yeah it's just normal stuff basically okay so let's get out of here and oh, there's two more things so um the event okay so which, is, which is, shows us the red elf or the red fairy I would the say wed fairy all right so yes we do have the event here um I played through it. It's very, it's very, very like enjoyable and cute if you actually read through the text. And I, I appreciated the section where they were talking about smelling bad. I won't spoil anything, but as the guy who always talks about bad smells, they actually like got into it. Like at one point, Emily actually asked if she smells bad. It was really funny. So if anyone reads it, like it's a fun little read. But I understand if you just skip it because most people just want to get the rewards and get out. Um, now we're just going to look at her. Uh, Kurosaki Rhea. Basically, she's an inversion of Kana. So each buff on your character decreases damage taken from all enemies. So she decreases damage taken. Kana increases it. It's the same multiplier. 5 at S1. And by S5, she'd have 10%. And then we have Sound Art Orange. Same exact cooldown as Kana. 50 seconds. And she sings to increase damage against all enemies by 15%. 30 by S5. And increase the charge rate of particles by 100% for 10 seconds. And that would be 200% by S5. Um, so it's mm -hmm. just literally an inverted Kana. Instead of like, Kana gives the damage up here, Rhea gives defense up. And then here, Kana gives defense up, and Rhea gives damage up here on her active. And the difference between their secondary is that Kana increases speed and Rhea increases particle charge yeah, rate. Particles. So, mm -hmm. yeah, there you go. Um, again, very niche. Um, maybe later something will come along. The issue is, is the buff thing. Like, icon buffs, it's really, like, hard to stack more than three consistently. Even in some cases, it's only really easy to keep two up. So, I'm failing to see, like, the value of just, like, you know, maybe potentially only having, like, three to four buffs up. Maybe if you're doing things, like, perfectly. And getting just 40% damage when you can literally use any supporter that just there's so many supporters to give a fuck ton of damage. I don't see the value in their actives. Like yeah. well, she gives defense up, but you know what I mean. Like the the defense up here and the damage up on Kana, you'd only be looking at what like between 20 and 40% consistently, and that's just not better than most things already in the game. Like if you have a blue character and you throw Nana on, Nana by herself gives 40% defense. So what's the point yeah. of running Rhea? And yeah, we'll, that, that's true. We'll just we just have to see. Um, was there anything happening in box ten, or was it just like the awakening crystal? It's awakening crystal. Okay, that's good for free to plays because they they really need because they haven't had these for a bit, so they need to start giving them these again. Yeah, which is a good thing they're doing. And there is and a then... bonus stage for this event. Um, yep, so the there's... last thing is, uh, are it's the changes awesome already company. on her? Yeah, they're already on her. Okay, but I can't. But some of them are stuff you can't actually see in game. So do you mind reading them off? Okay, so here are the buffs, Rosica. 
Um, uh, for, here's the first skill that they, they change. Um, Mock Punch, which is our old blue skill, I think. Green. Oh, Mock Punch? Uh, uh, Sorry. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's Mock because Punch. Because she has Mock Punch and Mock Impact. Yeah, Mock Punch is all blue. Okay, so yeah, so Mark Punch now has an in, um how do I say the duration has in, has has increased. The cooldown for the skill has been reduced by three seconds. So I guess it was twenty seconds, now seventeen seconds. Mm -hmm. And now Osaka can now track the enemy basically. So I have heard some people in the like Fox and some other people from uh, the Osaka mains from our Discord server, and they do like this change that she now tracks the enemy with it now. So because before she, when you ever, you had to really position yourself for this. So it, now, like it, it, even if she kills the enemy, she goes immediately towards the next target, basically. So now she has a tracking when she, even if you kill the enemy, basically. Now she has, she tracks them now. Alrighty. And what else did they do? Because I, I I remember uh, reading it this morning, but I was like, I honestly looked at it and I'm like, this is a trash buff. I don't think okay, it's a good buff, if I'm being honest. I think it's a half-assed lazy buff compared to, like, the spreadsheet new we got. Uh, I mean, yeah. Um, yeah, so I, I don't uh, so, like, I don't think it fixes any of her issues, is what I'm saying. But um, that, uh, the skill right there on the top, uh, the no one with the number two? This yeah, here? Spiral one. Blast? Yeah. yeah, Spiral Blast, uh, attack, uh, the attack range has increased, basically. So, like, the range is higher now, so, like... Yeah, but you have to let them hit her to do that. Yeah, that, that one I'm not sure what that was. That one. That's the all they did was, was increase the range, like nothing else. Yeah, it's it, it's yeah the attack range has this has increased. That's Who the it. hell is running this? I don't know. Like, what the I fuck is Grimmery? Dude, what is Grimmery like? What even like? Mm, fucking then, Grimmery Fox man. Like, oh my god. What's next? And then the last one is kill them. Uh, kill them all. Oh, missiles, the skill basically. I never brought because I don't. I didn't have heavy. Let me just buy it real quick. All right, there we go. Yeah, so, so kill on missiles basically it it um, refines the basically it, it's like it's faster to launch. It's basically like much more faster to activate the skill now, and and it doesn't like feel. Uh, how, how did the fox say that he was basically saying like it, it feels much better with her basically. It's just that the only thing he kind of wishes is that they change the red the three set of red basically. But other than that, like it's basically it, it's it's much more smoother now. It was clunkier, what from a lot of people said. It was very clunky, so now it's much more smoother and more filtered out, basically. And didn't one of the buffs say like increase their overall speed too, or am I misremembering? I mm, let me see. I'll check real quick. Uh, yeah, I, I would have to go to the actual site, and I don't. I could do it, I guess. One second. Oh, uh, uh, so say the the attack, the attack of her normal attacks and moves. Or, oh, basically they increase, basically. The damage or the speed? Uh, it says the tax. I'm guessing it's our, ba our damage, I'm guessing? Alright, so yeah, maybe, it's damage. Yeah, maybe she'll hit harder, too, on her base. Yeah, so, Honestly, though, yeah. this isn't like a... Like, because people were hoping the buff was going to, like, fix her. I, it's up to the supporter now. I don't think this is a good buff at all, honestly. If I'm being honest, this is kind of like... Like, she suffered for a year for this. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. Honestly, maybe, maybe, maybe Asuka mains feel different, but like this is, I, I'm not. Uh, like, what the hell? Yeah, like so they I increased the radius say... of this. Like, who's running this? Who, who even in their right mind? Yeah, because I'll be honest with you, no one talks about that skill. Dude, I, people, like, this, only... Yeah, I saw this skill and like I brought it because I saw the animation. Like that looks cool. Then I saw this and I was like, well, not time to not ever use that. Yeah, the one that basically most people are talking about is the kill on missiles and the mock punch, basically. That's it, though. <clears throat> oh, well. But, All right, yeah, sorry, I, ass cat. Looks like you're going to suck yeah, forever. But yeah, from what I can tell, like, she feels like, like people can actually feel like she, that you, you can kite with her now, which is actually pretty good. But I, I will, we'll need to see what happens, because if these are the buffs and that's it for her, then... Um, I, I, all I, all I could say is just I have to put my faith in the Osaka mains and see what they think about her, basically. Yeah, like, either a supporter's gotta come along. I mean, because you can give her OP supporters, that's not a question. I was looking for the character to be better overall, because people have a lot of issues with how she is. Especially with how popular Asuka is, and how, like, anticipated her release was. She came out and was like, oof, she sucks. And this buff doesn't really... 
answer the fact that she sucks. It's just like itty bitty. Like these are like tiny changes. Like it like the changes they made to her are almost as if they see her as balanced and they just did little bitty tweaks. Yeah, like I, like I, I mm, yeah, she's that, that not good true. enough to be considered balanced. She just isn't. No, because like the, the, I, I don't know if they're too scared of buffing her or something. Because the thing is though, with her, no, they don't give a is, damn. I told you the other day, they already sold us the character. We already have Asuka, so they don't care. They're like, oh, we'll just do a tweak because we're doing her limited gear, and then if her limited gear is dog shit, then she's just gonna be meh. Unless you use the typical bullshit, like, you know, freaking Kaoru and Kitty Mom, or like, you know, Spiko with some shit, you know, just some OP build, or like, Noah and Murasaki, like, the build's gonna make the character, the character itself's gonna still be bad. So that's, I, I mean, don't know. Yeah. Like, like I'm, I'm just being, like, honest about it, like, I'm done, like, being nice and pussyfoot and not complaining because people don't like to hear it, like, this character's just in a shitter. That's fucking what I think yeah. of it. Alright, let's pet the Kirara, who also sucks. <laughs> um well, okay so is that that's everything right as that's far as everything that's that's everything from the update all right let's let's watch op and tiny and hate our and hate our lives <laughs> op and tiny yeah okay so this is from zombie cat slash shibatron he was kind enough to record it in 4k so it's gonna look super pretty and yeah um pretty much you're gonna just 81. watch watch how good she is and wonder where your god is for your character Especially yeah, look, seriously, <laughs> dude. Like, that buff is so piddly. Oh, God, that an animation is cool. I haven't seen any Felicia gameplay. I was literally yeah, floppy, she's... Yeah, floppy bunny ears. Fr- cool, neat. 10 out of 10. She did nothing. <laughs> yeah. She literally did nothing and something died. Now, he did say um he didn't uh, he got shafted on her gotcha, I think. Oh jeez, that's not like, good. Or, or, I don't know if he got shafted or I don't remember honestly. I was at half awake at work, but he's not using like an S5 OP gotcha weapon. But he does okay, have like so... Spika on and Lydia, and like good good supporters. I don't know if he shows the build though. And he said he's struggling to see if she's like to to come to a conclusion of whether she's good or not. But, I mean. Looks better yeah, than Asuka, cause... so that's food for thought. From what I can tell, and I'll just say this right now, um, Wolf thinks that she'll be really good with a defensive tree. So I like basically that the damage reduction, basically, because she's gonna want to keep hitting, basically. So I, I guess for Ultra and Sui, they, they they can probably toot their own horn with this one because they got a huge W with that. You one. Know, Ultra's not even thing. touching her because Wolf's. He's Ultra does what I do if friends are getting something. He doesn't. Mm. Like, he doesn't. You know, make it like wail it. So because Wolf is going for her, we're both kind of like leaving him Wolf to be the Felicia guy. The main, the Felicia guy. Because yeah, if I really wanted sense. to, I could top up right now and like get Felicia's weapon S5 and like use her. But I, yeah, I, I should. That homing. Destructo disc though, I don't know if you saw that was critting for like 90k a tick. No, yeah, I saw. Yeah, yeah. big that, death really uh, good. Then that. Yeah, 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 uh, yeah. That's her shadow blade basically. Yeah, like she. What's funny is that um, Waystorm showed me it, and he can literally if you can literally have two of them at the same time out. I'm telling you, man. I just want to touch her. I just, I just want to, I just want to freaking throw my money at her and just touch her. Just, just. Just, just kill stuff with her. I know she's gonna be. I know she's OP. Hey, look at that. Yeah, it's just like see how stupid. And that's not even the attack speed. That's just damage. Like I would get, I would get 100% crit, crit rate on her and just like go cross-eyed and play. Oh look, this guy's the boss again. Wow. He only has 700 life. Yeah, this is gonna be child's play. This is, play. This is a, a, a doo-doo event. What the is <laughs> seven hundred life? I mean, they, they, I mean, they're giving you fucking fat enemies. Like, like they probably have like, like they hit you hard. They see they can knock you around. I, I guess that's what that makes it up. But uh, yeah, I guess they yeah. This should have been the event for Tokiko, right? Like, Tokiko, we get like God Sakura, and she sucked. And then Felicia's actually decent, and then we just get, like, Mohawk Demon with a beer belly with, like, no life. 
Okay. Well. There you that go. one anim that, 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 that animation looks pretty good. Let's see. Her animations are good. She's good. Look at her just gloating there. Like, haha, your characters suck. Ha, huh? you fucking losers. <laughs> I mean, she's a gremlin. Gremlins usually yeah, do Yeah, cool. she, she's a little gremlin. Don't give her water after midnight or she won't be cute anymore. Alright. Whoa. Look, what's going on? I want to see... So yeah, his weapon was only an S2 weapon. Yeah, so it's not that... Yeah. That... Oh, it is... Jeez. Okay, it is her gotcha weapon, but yeah, it was only S2, so it could be much better. And it's only enchanted to four, so it's very modestly built. Um... Oh, okay. This right here, that's perfect Yandere face. <laughs> that's like perfect. And she just looks so Yandere there. And then this is looking like, uh, is that a PV? Is that her PVP scythe? Yeah, that's her PVP scythe, the okay. green one. And then yeah, the supporters are like all good because this is probably what he uses on his Astaroth. Yeah, I imagine, like, if the weapon were, like, enchanted to, like, anywhere, like, plus 10 or far along, she would have been hitting for way more damage and probably would have felt, like, made that stage fall over. Also, yeah, like... this is my face when I saw the Asuka buff. Just why? <laughs> why? And this is this is my face when I saw Felicia. <laughs> she just seems super good. Hickey, man. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if these videos are going to pop up and make the content funnier, like, the, yeah, and it's funny because this is also his video. He remastered, hey, yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh, I love that like, video. Uh... But yeah, but, like. Yeah. Uh... We're going to have mm. more Felicia footage within the coming week, basically, so stay tuned for that. Yeah, um. Screw Felicia. I. I... <laughs> Dude, she's just so good, and like after seeing Asuka's buff, it just like drives it home. They don't really care. They're pretty much like, yeah, pay to enchant, and like pay for their limited gear, which may or may not suck. And if you don't do that, then they're just gonna suck, and then you can suck too. You just give us the big suck, cause we're Big Daddy Grimry, and just empty your wallet for us. <laughs> oh, shit. No, I'm pretty pissed off right now. Like that Asuka buff. <laughs> Dude, that's like going to the school cafeteria and getting those sweet little pizza squares on pizza day, and there's only one pepperoni on yours. That's what that buff was like. Just pizza one, squares. just ah, like hmm. you know like when you eat the eat in the school cafeteria, it's like the rectangle pizza. No. Oh yeah, because you didn't have that. one because your freaking no. cafeteria burned down. But <laughs> yeah. norm normal places where there's a school cafeteria, <laughs> they give you like rectangle pizza. And some, very few times, they, they, some have, like, triangle pizza. But the point I'm trying to make here is, imagine getting a slice of pepperoni pizza with one pepperoni. Oh, like, the yeah, whole, you, it's just, that, it's just one little at pepperoni. Point, like, at that point, you better just get off, like, a, a cheese pizza, basically. Yeah, that's what, that's what Asuka is. She's like, you order pepperoni pizza, and they gave you, like, a whole pie with one pepperoni in the middle and a little smiley face with olives on it. <laughs> like, I, I'm, <laughs> I'm done. Video's over. Thanks, thanks yeah. for coming on. Sorry for all the Asuka mains. I hope her supporter doesn't suck. Otherwise, big rip. And I'm not. We, we pray for you. Yeah, I really do. Because seeing how Asuka's buff turned out, I'm sure they're not going to fix anything wrong with Kirara. And uh, God, I, I pray for Ingrid mains. So, oh, yeah. Thanks for sharing the footage, Zombie Cat slash Shibatron. It was fun. It was good to watch. I appreciate it. I appreciate the timely delivery, too. We got her through bonus three, like, literally, like, I was at work first thing in the morning. He's like, oh, here you go. I'm like, oh, wow, that was fast. So I appreciate that. Thank you. It was nice to be able to show some Felicia with the update discussion. And, yeah, the best thing about this update is Felicia and the fact that, you know, you can finally get Nagi from the pool. And Asuka's still on the short bus with Kirara and Ingrid. And that's the video. Thanks for watching, guys. Hit the bell because the algorithm is Asuka buff. And I will catch you guys tomorrow with another one. Toodles!